campers this is dawn and today we're gonna make this beautiful box and we're actually using the envelope punch board so let's go ahead and get started so these are the pieces we're going to be using today i'm using the pink pirouette and then also you're going to need a strip of whisper white to cut out the little windows if you want a little frame around that then you're going to need four pieces if you want to put the acetate window sheets on the inside like I did on mine so it holds the candy inside the box without it falling out. So I cut these four pieces from the Fabulous Foil Designer Acetate. Let me show you that. So this is the Fabulous Foil Designer Acetate. You'll get six sheets of the 12 by 12 and you get three designs, two of each. So you get the polka dots, then you'll get this one. This is the one we're using today and then you also get the scallops. Even though this is the side that's showing gold, when you flip it over it will be silver. So that's the side I'm going to be showing out of my little box today. Okay, so you get both sides. So you're going to need four of those, and these are cut at one and a half by two and a half. Okay, so let's grab our paper trimmer. Okay, so we're going to cut this down. This is the pink pear wet. We're going to cut it down to seven and a quarter, and then down to eight and a quarter. So first we're going to score on the seven and a quarter inch side first and we're going to score this at one and three fourths then we're going to slide it down to three and a half five and a quarter and seven okay so now we're going to go ahead and turn it on the eight and a quarter inch side and we're going to score this at one and three fourths two and a quarter, two and three fourths, three and a quarter, six, and seven and three fourths. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold all our score lines. Now down here on these score lines right here, there's four right close together. You're going to count the third one up and you're going to fold this in a valley. And then you're going to fold all the other ones like in a mountain fold. This is just going to make that certain fold stand out when we get to the envelope punch board section. So now it should look like this. So with the third one from the bottom, like this, so the third one's a valley, and then these are all mountains. Okay? All right, now we're going to do some cutting. Okay, so on this tab right here, we're going to remove that section. Okay, now we're just going to cut on our score lines. Okay, then we're going to miter cut the tabs as well. I'm going to miter cut this one. And then this one, we're going to skip over this one, so you're not going to miter this one right here. Okay, so this is what this edge looks like so far. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn it on the other side. Now we're going to remove this tab right here. And we're also going to cut on the score lines. Okay, so this is the only one we didn't miter cut on this side, and this side is going to be the bottom of your box. So you're going to keep this tab intact. So then we're also going to miter cut these edges here. Okay, and then this one is going to just be removed. Okay. So now that's what our box looks like so far. All right, now we're going to grab our envelope punch board. Okay, so this is where the valley fold is. This is where we're going to punch on this edge right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our center part. Let me see if I can point this out to you. So this little center part here with the punch, you're going to line up the edge 
first cut is going to be the center of that cutout. Hopefully that shows up. So you're going to cut that about right there. Okay. So you're just going to put it halfway between that cutout and punch. Okay, then you're going to take the next score line and you're going to put that right in the center of that punch. Okay, and then you're going to punch. Now you're punching through two layers, so it's going to be really hard. So, but if you stand up and you put your weight into it, you should be able to do that. Okay, and then you just continue down all the score lines. So you're going to do that one, that one, and then also this tiny one right here. And then that's going to be just like the first one over here. You're just going to line it up halfway through that. Okay, so I went ahead already and did one, so let me show you that what that looks like. So this is what it looks like when you do all your score lines with the envelope punch board. Okay, so it looks like that. All right, now we're gonna grab the big shot. So I'm gonna cut out one of the frames. I went ahead already and did this section as well, but I wanna show you what I did. I took the layering oval framelits, and I just took the size that fits inside of this panel right here. Okay, and then I took the scallop size that's above that. So you're just going to nestle those together. And then you're just going to run that through the big shot. And you're going to do that four times. Okay, so then this is going to be your little frame for your little peekaboo side. All right, so you're going to do that four times. Okay, so next we're going to cut out the center part of your panels right here. So you have four panels, so you're just going to line up the oval on each one of these panels and you're going to run that through the big shot and I went ahead already and did that as well so this is what it looks like here so let me show you how I did that so you're going to have to fold in one side for it to go through the big shot so you're just going to line up your oval and I found that if you use your your post-it note tabs it will hold it in place Okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and run that through the big shot, making sure to fold over one of your side panels. Okay. So then your oval is cut out. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and move the big shot. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and decorate the oval part that we just cut out. So for the back side, I'm going to add the snail, and this is where we're going to add that designer acetate window. And of course, whatever side you want showing out, like I want the silver side, but you also have the gold. So I'm going to put the silver side face down. Remember, these are all cut at one and a half by two and a half. Okay, so there's your little window. And of course, you don't have to do this, but I want to put like Hershey Kisses and stuff in my box. So I didn't want them to fall out. All right, then we're gonna take our little frame. We're gonna take some liquid glue. Okay, and we're just gonna set this over top of that oval. Once again, the liquid glue gives you time to position that frame right over top of that cutout. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so that's how I did all the little windows and then also the frames. Oh, on this one here, I went ahead and cut a little square for the top part. But, of course, you can decorate that however you want. But let me give you the measurements if you want to hand cut them. The Whisper White is cut at one and a half by one and a half. The Pink Pirouette is cut at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then the little white piece is cut at one inch by one inch. Then I also went ahead and used the Layering Square Framelits. Let me show you those. So what I did is I just cut out all the layers, which I think these were the ones that I used. This one I think is the one I used, yep. So these were the scallop, and I wanted to kind of bring in the scallop square with the scallop oval part of the, the little box. So those are what I used for that. So this is going to be the bottom of our box with the tab here. So let me show you. So this is going to open up the box right here to reveal the candy inside, okay? So the top stays put. As far as for the ribbon, nothing opens up on the top. So we're going to go ahead and add some liquid glue on this edge right here, this tiny little edge. Also, don't forget this tiny little spot here. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn it over. We're going to fold this and then just fold this section over to meet that glue. And then, of course, just hold that for a couple minutes. Okay. Just want to make sure that gets adhered really nice together. I'm going to put adhesive on this. And this one, I think. And of course, this here. Okay, so we put adhesive. Now we're just going to fold them over. Okay. And then shut the bottom of the box. Okay. And then these fold in. It's almost like a collapsing box. Okay, and then we're going to tie some ribbon. Let me grab some of that. I just cut a piece of the 3 8 metallic edge ribbon. This also comes in gold, so if you want to use the gold side, this also comes with the gold metallic edge as well, just like the silver that we're using today. I'm going to use this side. So I'm going to just tie the ribbon around. I'm just going to tie a bow. you can fussy with the bow. I'm just going to go ahead and trim the tails. Okay, and then to decorate the top we're just going to add these layers together. Just like that. Isn't that cute? So of course you can put some candy inside. So let me grab some Hershey Kisses. Got a pool of candy here. You could actually put these in there too, but I just find that they're a little bit too big. Where I like the color showing through the window. It's just so cute, and it actually holds quite a bit of the Hershey Kisses. Isn't that cute, adorable, love it. Okay, so then here's the other one. Now the only difference is that I used the squares on the top, as I just hand cut them out instead of using the layering squares. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so that's how you make that cute little box using the envelope punch board. Okay, I'll have all the items listed below, and then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye!